ibisfootballclub at gmail.com ibisfootballclub at gmail.com facebook.com forward slash ibis.fc and twitter.com forward slash ibis underscore football or at ibis underscore football um you can also you can also go to their official website, which is ibisfc.co.uk for more information about the four sides that we have in the Southern Amateur League. Um, training is every Wednesday, 7.30pm until 9pm and match days are Saturdays. As evidence by the results from around the club. Um, because Saturday 20th of April 2013, the Ibis 1s were beaten 5-0 by Wearside Rangers. Um, Broomfield were beaten were beaten by the Ibis 2s an own goal and O'Toole scored um, the Ibis 3s won 5-1 um, at home against Lloyd's TSB um, Phil Stevens getting a hat trick Sam Lines and Ben Shaw scoring as well and Aline Old Boys 5s nil sorry Aline Old Boys 5s yeah I wish it was the score um, 5 Ibis 4s nil. Um, we're going to get into that one in a second because not only was I in goal again dodgy knees and all um, knee supports and all look like Steve Austin seriously yeah with the knees there's, the, there's the there's the obligatory wrestling reference right there uh, yeah definitely yeah, obligatory um, but yeah it was one of them ones where we were away um, at the Edward Aline Clubhouse which is on Burbage Road Dulwich SC24 um, nice clubhouse, it must be said, must be said. And Big T is just absolutely wrong in the Skype chat. But I'm going to carry on because the squad for the game was myself, Liam Angel, a.k.a. Straight Shooting LJA. Um, we had Carl Bolton, um, Barry, a.k.a. Baz Clark, Will Hainsworth, Nick Boyd, a.k.a. Boyd, um, Gideon Barnett. We had Namo. We had Jordan Mills, who was a late addition because he actually wasn't on the original email, um, but he was available. Um, we had Matt Norton, Callum Mayfield, Ben Thomas, Arno Coutier, um, and we had one late dropout, which was a um, good mate of mine, Pete Snell. He had to drop out because his because of an ankle injury that he picked up. Same game that I picked up my knee, my latest knee injury. Um, his ankle was like swollen to the size of a basketball for a week, so yeah, wow. he pretty much knew he wasn't going to play. And I think he did play last week as well. Um, but Ross Cooper was supposed to be with us and he didn't show up. So that was quite a weird one. But swinging into a quick match report, Aline Old Boys, fives, five, Ibis FC fours, nil. Um, and in terms of match report, on another lovely sunny day, sunny spring day in London, um, the Ibis fours travelled down to Herne Hill to face the Aline Old Boys fifth side and spirits were high pre-match even though I, Liam Angel, was going to be in goal. Um, and my record actually isn't that great. Um, as the G-Man will probably point out at some point. Um, after this match, I think in five games I have conceded... Um, 31 goals. Around about 30 goals. 31. Uh, he's more exact than I am. I'm trying to forget it. And I, like a... Like a, like, like wow. a in the words of Jim Cornette, like a bad sexual abuse case, like I was very small. When I was very small, I tried to put them moments into the back of my mind. Cornette said that about moments with Vince Russo. I say that about my goal score, my goal, um, my shot stopping and goal stopping ratio. Just out of curiosity, would the Ibis fours be better off with uh, you just not being in goal at all? Like you standing on the sideline, for example? Nah. No, because no, <laughs> otherwise we'd have no keeper at all. Yeah, but if you've conceded 31 goals in five games, I mean, it can't be that bad. No, admittedly, it's probably about six. admittedly, to the 43rd minute, he was having a decent game. But, you know, all right, then, and then after that, it was more or less an that, Arsenal then performance. Then yeah? I'm going to let him tell the story, but it was 70 yards, people, 70 yards. It was not 70 yards. <laughs> but you know what, yeah, all of us, apart from Boydie and Namo, got to the ground in good time and we were able to have a good pre-match warm-up. But personally, after missing my first game of the season last week, um, due to being at RMV Western's Capital Collision event with um, with the g um, I actually was chomping at the bit to get back out and playing, even with my knees being banged up, wrapped up, and almost smacked up. But um, with, with, well, my knees being banged up and wrapped up with more support than the welfare system gives in this country. Um, but I did warn the guys again pre-match that I'd need more protection than condoms as I'm not a goalkeeper. 
So, and yes, that was my actual line. Yes, it was. Um, and Big and they came with fem- feminoms. But um, you need to shout up. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, it's one of them ones. And in the first half, for at least most of it, um, I actually did get the protection I needed because Ibis were actually in control of the game. And we did have a couple of penalty appeals waved away and Ben and Arno were causing problems for the Elian old boys on the wings. And we were carving out some good chances. I mean, Jordan Mills hitting the post in the first half. Um, and, for, and we did force their keeper to make a few good saves, but the one thing we didn't get was actually a goal. And um, But the Elian old boys did late on in the first half, totally against the run of play. I mean, on the edge of, of our box, their striker had time to hold the ball up, turn, and shoot. And unfortunately, he was able to arrow a low drive into the bottom corner, bottom right-hand corner of my goal. No chance I'm getting to it. It was right in the corner. Slide rule. It was one of them was slide rule finish, and that meant undeservedly we went into the break a goal down. But I mean, at halftime, we couldn't fault much in the way we had performed. Um, so the team talk was actually quite positive. But, but, well, so we went onto the pitch feeling aggrieved, but there were, the, the feeling was there was a match to be won for us. I don't know why the G-Man's laughing, because that's the way it was. We dominated for 40 minutes, and we conceded a fluky, uh, fluky goal. yeah, a fortuitous goal, I'll give it that. Hitting Hope more than anything. I think they rumbled me and realised I wasn't a keeper, so hitting Hope. But, um, it was one of them was the second Aline Old Boys goal, I kind of have to take a bit of culpability for, but at the same time, um, as I went down, like that, to save it, you went down, um, where? down, 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 there. But it's all, <laughs> it's all there was. I went down to my right hand side to save it. I might have gone down a touch early, but I'm not a keeper, I said. Went down, saw the ball, bou- down, saw the ball bouncing towards you. Saw the- <laughs> so wrong. You are so wrong here. Yeah. You encourage it. <laughs> You're kind. Of, I know. I know. I, I scripted ad libs. You dive too know. early, people. You dived early. But um, no, but it's one. No, but it's one that was where oh, you lot are a disgrace. Down to his right, people. The whole lot. The whole lot of you are a disgrace. But anyway, it was one. It was one that was. It's where, a disgrace. It's a. No, I can't say. No, that. no, no. But no. <laughs> Are we talking about your performance here, being yes, a disgrace? Yes, I am. I'm trying to talk about my performance. Being a disgrace. Mate. It's a disgrace. Mate, my performance. My, there ain't nothing wrong with my performance. Oh, that sounds even more wrong. Um, <laughs> it sounds even more wrong. You're doing it to yourself. The Skype chat is loving it. Doing, doing it to myself. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is just getting so wrong. Self high five. Too much of that will make you blind. Um... There's an obligatory wrestling reference right there. <laughs> Bang! But anyway, but anyway, it was on them. It was on them. Was I? I went down to my right um, to try and to, to dive for the ball. The ball actually hit a divot, and because I was, I had already dived. The ball just bounced right up over my hand, and I was like, "Oh, you, <laughs> yeah." But wait, stop laughing! I want to see you in goal no, no, next no, no, game. You know what? Shut up. You know, it, it, that just reminds me of Stan Collymore, yeah, and his shot against Tim Flowers, <laughs> yes, in 94, yeah, 95, yeah, we all remember that. And it wasn't that bad. It was not that bad. But it was one But it was one of them ones. It went over my left hand and in, and if the first goal didn't puncture the Ibis balloon, the second goal definitely did, because we went on to concede a couple more. With one of their strikers somehow dancing onto the edge of the left-hand side of our box and picking out a man at the far post. So, it was one of them ones for a tapping. And... Another goal with their number seven, who did have pace and trickery. Um, he danced past, dancing past Gids and Carl on the right and firing low and hard to my left hand side. So low and, and hard, did you say? Don't try it. <laughs> that's I'm, terrible. I'm, that's I'm, terrible. I'm, that's clutching at straws. I'm, right I'm, there. I'm, 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 you need to you need to start clutching yourself rather than clutching. I straws. thought you was clutching at straws when that ball went over your head. No, hey, you're not funny. I'm, 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 I'm just funny. I'm just saying. Like you was like. Oh. Don't make me go JBL on you. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> but no, uh, it was it was one of them ones where the Alino old boys also got a fifth. Um as, as we ended up on ended up on the receiving end of quite a beating. But after the match, we were annoyed at the second half capitulation. <laughs> where we had very few highlights, one of which being Boydie hitting the crossbar from the edge of from the edge of the box, and a couple of good moves down the left when Namo came on came on after we switched Will into centre midfield, and we went to a back three. Um, oh dear. 
But after the match in the clubhouse, we actually were having a chat and Boydie actually announced that he's going to be moving back up north in the summer. So for me, that was personally, for me, that was personally a surprise because he's going to be giving up the force captaincy. So, uh, so at the end of the day, there are now, it caught a few of us by surprise, but at the end of the day, there's a couple of burning questions in regards to the Ibis Fours. Number one. Who's going to be captain? That's the second question. But the first one, after the relegation, is there even going to be a fourth team at the club next season? Ooh. Because the, the club on in, the, in a general basis has been struggling for availability all season. And obviously, the first team to get sacrificed will be the fours. So... It's one of them ones, but yeah, I mean, if there is a fourth team, who's going to be the captain of it? So there are two important questions and the answers to which <laughs> will hopefully be revealed over the coming weeks. But it's going to be interesting times at Ibis with the twos and threes chasing promotion as well. But it's one of them ones. It's going to be extremely interesting. But I'm straight shooting LJ and that is my take on the match. But, but, oh no. No, no, I wasn't lying. I wasn't no, lying. No, 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 no. That, that, that wasn't about you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. It's getting wrong in the Skype chat. It really is. I think, is. I think Tom wants oh, to have a word. That is... No, it's getting so wrong. But you know what? Yeah. I said, Ibis FC at ibisfootballclub at gmail.com. Ibisfc.co.uk is the official website. Facebook.com forward slash ibis.fc and at ibis underscore football on Twitter. Um, ibisfc.co.uk, the official website. We're going to need players next season, so Maybe. if you play to a good standard, let us know. Let us know. I don't know who's going to take over the captaincy of the fours, though. That's an interesting one. That's an extremely interesting one because it's a case of you will be kind of you, someone's got to be willing to step up to the play. And one thing I will say, yeah, after being around Liam and Ibis for a season now, yeah, you know what? If you're really interested in football, I reckon, and you're from the sort of area, um, South London, West London, um, you know that sort yeah, of area. area. Yeah. Um, so we train I, in Battersea. You know we what? Play matches in Chiswick. Get down at Ibis if you really want to play football. If you don't want to play for those other teams out there that don't give you any sort of um, time you know they waste your money you know you're sitting on the sidelines at least try for Ibis yeah. you hear me because Ibis are looking genuinely looking for players you know and what better what better opportunity is to play for a team that's looking for players rather true. than sitting on the bench of a team that doesn't care for you very true so uh, if you are looking to go and play some football on a regular basis play alongside our co-host make sure you get down yeah. Yeah.